You're walking to school, going about your day, when all of a sudden you slip into a puddle. As you fall back, you feel your stomach turn like you're falling in a dream. But when you open your eyes, you're surrounded by bland yellow wallpaper in a maze that you've never seen before. You fell through the world and ended up in the back rooms. But what will you do? What will you discover? Well, the possibilities from FNAF are what we're exploring today. Obviously, none of these are going to be canon, okay? So don't get mad at me, but it's a fun idea anyway, okay? So. Let's do it. In a 10, Great Escape Golden Freddy. Great Escape Golden Freddy, or for short, simply Great Escape Freddy, is the first Golden Freddy skin that was added into FNAF AR. He received this skin as a part of the special mixed reality DLC game mode Dark Circus Encore that released on December 13th, 2021. Great Escape Golden Freddy is identical to Golden Freddy in coloration, still being yellow, but now is a much duller shade, with black and green splotches on his head, legs, and feet. His head is severely withered in multiple areas, with most of it being deteriorated or missing including half of his top hat. His eye sockets are completely empty, with holes going through the endoskeleton head and a chain running through his mouth. But like, just looking at this thing, I already fear for my life like I'm in another dimension or like a secret area of the simulation. So, seeing this thing in the back rooms wouldn't, in my mind, be out of place. I mean, if this is where, like, defective game implements go, this could be a simple explanation for how this mess of a creature got there, because I don't think that this is intentional. At least it shouldn't be. In a 9, Withered Bonnie. Withered Bonnie is an antagonist in FNAF 2, and a recurring character that also appears in Help Wanted. He is a damaged version of the original Bonnie incarnation. Withered Bonnie is a dirty dry blue with a lighter blue on his ears and torso. His face is missing, leaving a dark gap with wires dangling all over. His endoskeleton face and red and white pupils are scarcely visible. He has round, thin teeth on his bottom jaw, and given his state of disrepair, I think it would make complete sense for this monster to be present in the back rooms. I mean, this guy is like the original nightmare animatronic in a sense. 100% the scariest part of FNAF 2 in the eyes of many people. And if it's not, you really need to sort out your priorities because this dude is terrifying. Their whole thing is being seemingly broken only to spring to life and come after you, which is just the kind of thing that would be present in the back rooms. This dude is a menace and with his ability to flicker lights like we see in Ultimate Custom Night and FNAF 2, he would pose a difficult challenge to overcome, especially with the monster that's already present there right on your tail. And it ate shadow animatronics. The Shadow Animatronics are ghost-like entities with an unknown place of origin, whereabouts, and history. Shadow Freddy and RWQFSFASXC, aka Shadow Bonnie, are the only two recurring Shadow Animatronics from throughout the series. The Shadow Animatronics lack solid forms as they appear to be shadows, supernatural specter-like things with forms based on the Fazbear Entertainment Animatronics. Most of them have very dark colors while sporting glowing white eyes and teeth, which is just perfect for the context of the back rooms. These dudes share a very similar style to the uh, monster that we already see running around in the popular video series, and these dudes would pose an ever-looming threat that would really heighten the intensity of these videos. Imagine just like a, a shadow flying across the screen, or thinking you see some dark figure out of the corner of your eye, and then it's gone. A flashlight could be used as a defense mechanism. Ah, okay, it would be cool. Okay, it would be cool. And it's seven, phantom animatronics. The phantom animatronics are hallucination variants of the original animatronics who haunt in Fazbear's Fright throughout the nights in FNAF 3. The Freddy Files book also points out that these hallucinations also appear burnt, suggesting that they're trying to warn you of what's to come. The Phantom Animatronics first appeared in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 as side antagonists, some of them returned in Ultimate Custom Night, and then they all came back in Help Wanted. But given that these are hallucinations, it's entirely possible that these Phantom Animatronics could appear in the back rooms. Think about it. If you're stuck in an endless void of what looks to be the same area for who knows how long, you're gonna start to go crazy. Even if you don't, sleep deprivation at the hands of not wanting to get caught by the monster already in there would surely cause you to start hallucinating after being awake for 48 hours. So those hallucinations could very well be the same ones from FNAF 3, especially if you're a fan of the series. In its sixth, Nightmare Endo. Nightmare Endo is the animatronic endoskeleton of Nightmare Fredbear. He technically first debuted in FNAF 4, but returned as a minor easter egg in Help Wanted to help provide a bit of context. Mostly since a lot of people, myself included, thought that Nightmare had a brain that was visible from the outside. I mean, I don't know why the Nightmare animatronic have an endoskeleton skeleton, or even why Nightmare especially has an endoskeleton, given that he's just a figment of Crying Child's coma-induced imagination. But nevertheless, Nightmare Endo is probably the scariest version of an endoskeleton that I have seen. Like, holy crap. If this thing doesn't belong in the back rooms, I don't think any of these would. Because, like, this one is freaky, but 
realistically made and discarded by the devs. Or maybe the animatronic that this was made for in Chuck E. Cheese ended up falling through the world and then got into the back rooms the same way we did. I don't know, I just think this style of character fits in here pretty well. Halfway through into number 5, System Error Toy Bonnie. System Error Toy Bonnie is a neon themed skin for Toy Bonnie released as part of FNAF AR's Arcade Mayhem event. And while it may seem peculiar and out of place in the back rooms, think about it. The back rooms is a location that's only accessible by no clipping through the world, accidentally. So understandably, something that revolves around system errors would be lurking within this developer's room, okay? He looks the part too. He shares the same model as Toy Bonnie, but with a few key differences. His general color, including his bow tie, is a neon reddish orange with lines that go through his entire body, similar to the screen effect of an old CRT TV. He also has a pixelated 8-bit style effect coming from his entire body, his mouth and eyes gleam yellow, and red system error text is printed on his stomach, and glowing white eyebrows, freckle spots, and a glowing nose, but he's not Rudolph. How is this not creepy backrooms material, okay? It's a bit iffy, hence why it's still at number 5, but still, it could be cool. In at 4, The Blob. The Blob is an amalgamation of various animatronics that appears in FNAF Security Breach as a secret antagonist, and as its name suggests, The Blob is a huge mass of wire, tentacles, and animatronic parts, possessing many glowing red eyes. However, this seems to be the right kind of monster that you would find in the back rooms. The Blob's mind is that of a mindless monster reacting with simple grunts and screeches that are both deep and distorted, as well as low mechanical sounding snoring noises. Some theorize that this implies all the animatronics making up the amalgamation are constantly fighting each other for control, which I think would fit perfectly with the monsters already established to be in the back rooms, especially those in the popular YouTube series that kind of brought back this creepypasta. Dude is like just a mass with a couple of animatronic plastic faces smacked on top. That is 100% something that you'd see out of like the corner of your eye and the corner of the frame and then you'd pan to see it and it's gone. Getting close to the end in number 3, The Puppet. The Puppet is an animatronic puppet and a major antagonist of the FNAF series. First appearing as the seemingly main antagonist of FNAF 2, the way we've seen this character move along with their design is very reminiscent of some fan images made of the back rooms. The puppet seemingly moves by floating, something shared with many fan creations of backrooms monsters, and if not, we saw a walk in FNAF VR in one of the most horrifyingly disgusting ways. So yeah, I mean, ignoring the fact that they used to be a security bot and only attack the player because they look like the man that killed them, you can't tell me that the puppet would be out of place in the back rooms. I mean, like, this thing has discernible characteristics that would make it scarier. I mean, a seemingly lifeless blob with no face whose only purpose is to kill you is one thing, but that, with a face and motivation, makes it even scarier. But ultimately, and at number two, Burn Trap. Burn Trap is the final boss of the true ending in FNAF Security Breach and the last remains of William Afton's physical body after the events of Pizzeria Simulator. Just like Spring Trap and Scrap Trap from previous FNAF games, Burn Trap is a withered spring body animatronic infused with the corpse of William Afton. However, unlike the previous two, very little suit remains on his body, only having a head, ears, torso, pelvis, left thigh, and left foot. His endoskeleton appears to be a mixture of spring lock and glam rock endoskeletons, and this dude is the scariest version of Afton yet. And I think it's kind of a monstrosity, and I think that this kind of monstrosity would fit perfectly within the style of the back rooms. He limps because he wasn't fully charged, he's part sentient code, which seems like the kind of lore that they would include, and he's just blatantly terrifying. If any version of Afton is going to be in the back rooms, it would be Burn Trap 100%, no question. And finally, in a number one, Nightmare On. Nightmare On, commonly referred to as the Nightmare Puppet or Nightmare Yannette, is a nightmare animatronic in the FNAF series, first appearing in the Halloween update for FNAF 4, where it replaces Nightmare and thus shares the same behavior. But using the same argument as the blob with the whole tentacle situation, Nightmare On is probably the most backrooms animatronic we have period. While yes, they did appear in FNAF 4's Halloween update, they also made an appearance in FNAF VR, where they antagonize the player in one of the Night Terror levels. But it's within this level where you can actually see how far of a reach this animatronic has. Since if you look up to the ceiling and towards the bed, you can see tentacles slowly start to enter your room that you need to scare away with your flashlight. So basically, based on the really prevalent monster that we see in the back rooms, this man fits the bill right on, smack dab in the middle, plus a like 25% tip, just saying. That's all the time we have for today, friends. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been Ed Shower, Mank on row, and I'll see you in another video, unless I fall through into the back rooms.